You are watching an AC Media production. This week on Archer's Choice. Oh! Thank you, Freddy. <laughs> Welcome to this week's Archer's Choice. This week, we're heading to northern Alberta. Way up north. Way up north. The big bear country I think we've outfitters. got Alberta pretty covered. we got some good outfitters up there. We do, and this time, Jason Packard and Steve Overgaard. Overgaard. Overgaard, don't forget. Overgaard, I yes. won't. And Freddie and Timmy are gonna head up there, but before we get there, this week's lucky logo is Stealth Cam. Stealth Cam, put them up, you'll know what's going on in your area. Okay, but they just gotta look for the logo. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay, I was just checking. Now, these guys, they went up there and they had an unbelievable hunting. The amount of bears they saw when they were sitting in the stand was amazing. So we're just going to get it going. You know, again, and that, that's what it is. When, you, when your outfitter runs the baits like they're supposed to. Absolutely. This is what's going to happen. And this is our northern connection. In, in Alberta. Yes. <laughs> We hardly got in the stand that day and we had a bear on the bait and uh, we were in the stand about 15, 20 minutes and we looked up and here comes just a big old monster bear. That's a shooter. We'll let him get next to the barrel and double check, but I believe so. That's a good bear. Look how wide his ears are set on his head. Settle down, okay? That's a good boar. The big guy came in and chased that little bear up the tree and uh, climbed back down himself and started hitting the bait. And uh, while he was sitting there, another bear come in and it was a chocolate. My very first color phase I've ever seen. It is.
Ooh, baby. Yeah. We're up here in Alberta with Big Bear Country Outfitters and it's a big bear, baby. We haven't been up in the stand in half an hour. And we have a big Alberta black bear down. Uh, he's laying right there, dude. He didn't make it 15 yards. That, uh, that Spitfire Max did him in, son. Rage in the cage, my rear end. That's all I have to say. You give me my Spitfires any day. Here we go, let's come on, let's go see what he looks like, buddy. Since it happened so early, we decided just to kind of hang tight and see what else the night brought. And boy, am I happy we did because, uh, I mean, no sooner than that bear was on the ground and he was done, about 15 minutes went by and here come more bears. And 15 minutes, here come more. And about another 10 minutes, here come more. I mean, it was absolutely nonstop all night. I think we ended up counting a total of nine different bears that night on that bait side, including mine, and uh, far and away my, my best night of bear hunting I've ever had the pleasure to experience. Just an awesome night. We got tons of great footage and uh, just had all kinds of activity on the bait that night and uh, an absolute blessing to come home with that big bear. Congratulations. Way to go, Freddie. That's cool. He's, See all those bears? Well, that's that's what you want, is you want oh. that opportunity. You want to be consumed by them, and when you're consumed by them, that, that, that gets you hooked on bearing down oh, forever. Oh, yeah, I mean, that, that's what gets you all your adrenaline pumping. You got all them bears. His bear's down, and they got more bears coming in. Now we're going to join Timmy. Timmy. And Timmy, they go out there, and they're trying to get set up for they're a They're trying to put the dual ladder stand, yeah. you know, the mare step ladder stand, and they realize that there's bears all around them already. Yep. Which happens a lot when you're doing your job. That's right. When those bears in that you know that far country they hear those ATVs ding they're dong. like mm. Ooh. ding dong time to eat so we dropped off our ladder stand I climbed up into the existing stand that was already there and Barry ran to get Fred well by the time they got back two bears had already come back into the baits As Fred was coming in, he decided one of the bears there was one he would like to harvest. So we, we tried to coordinate and get, uh, get Freddy killing that thing on film, but it just didn't work out. Where's this one behind me? We decided to click at the ladder stand set up. The whole time we were trying to get set up, there was a bear on the bait. And that just goes to show you how many bears are up here and how unafraid of people they are. But once basically we got up into the stand, they realized there's a pretty good bear behind us. So Freddie decided to be a good guy and pass up the bow to me. That's a good bear coming in. Give me the camera because you're going to kill him. Stay in with that
Oh my God. Oh. Man. Thank you, Freddie. <laughs> but it was just a phenomenal night in the stand. I mean, we had bears on us the whole night. I was able to harvest a bear, and I mean, we actually had a bear come up and visit us in the stand. Uh, so it was, it was a very eventful night. Just a, a typical night up here, though, at Big Bear Country Outfitters. Well, as you can see, we got the bear out in the open now. Uh, you saw he went down on camera. He didn't go very far after the shot and kind of went down some pretty thick cover. So we decided to drag him out so you can get a better look at him, see exactly what we've got. Um, really big bear. He's uh, got a nice white patch on his chest. I was really excited when I saw that. We're up here with Big Bear Country Outfitters in Northwestern Alberta. And we've been up here for about four days. We've seen countless numbers of bears, lots of big bears. Uh, several guys in camp have taken bears right at that seven foot mark. Um, there's phenomenal area. I just can't say enough about it. The guys really know what they're doing. Their bait sites are awesome. Um, as far as bear hunts go, this is probably one of my best. Um, I'd like to thank Ralph and Vicki, Alberta Tourism, and of course, Big Bear Country Outfitters. And hopefully by the end of the week, we'll have a couple more down for you. Good job. Anyway, Timmy, boy, you guys are rocking up there. It's awesome. Oh my gosh, that's a good place. It is. I'm kind of excited we should go there. Yeah, our northern connection. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Now we're going to join Freddie. Yep. And what's kind of unique about this hunt is that, well, it's not so much unique, but we sent our stealth cams up there ahead of time. They've been seeing sign, they set up the stealth cam, and they saw there is a pig of a bear coming in. And that's the thing, is using those cameras as a great tool when the baits that you're not sitting, you get these cameras telling you everything. That, that is one of the biggest things that have really allowed us to create our, the, the success. Absolutely, especially on them bigger bears. So let's see what happens now, huh? You go, Fred. So we've got a bit of a score to settle with this bear. He's been on this bait the last couple nights, we're pretty sure. So it's early, it's only about 3.30 or so. Got about eight hours before dark, so we're gonna settle in and see if we can't kill this big guy tonight. If a bear does happen to climb the tree at you, which we have had oh, numerous all the time. times, is it honestly, Try to come in the ground blind. That, that bear is just curious and it wants to check you out. It sees a blob up in the tree and it thinks there's a subordinate bear up above and he's gonna check you out and make sure that you're not gonna come down after him. And that's it, really. That's it. All you gotta do is quietly, he'll climb up the tree. You can take your arrow, the, you know, the, the heel of your boot, whatever you want, just go, no, get down. Kick it a couple times, you know, hit it with your arrow. That bear's just gonna <clears throat> at you and it's gonna scoot right back down. Can we repeat that? <clears throat> at you and it's gonna go right back down. <laughs> Great tip, Vic. <laughs> After being on the bait for a few minutes, uh, he stood up and started looking back into the bush and we look over and here come the big guy.
with big bear country outfitters, baby. Ooh. My second awesome bear up here in northwestern Alberta with big bear country outfitters. Let me tell you something. Bears like this right here are the reason these guys have the name Big Bear Country Outfitters. And when I say Northwestern Alberta, I mean it. We're almost to the Northwest Territories and almost to BC up here where we're hunting. So the area that the guys have up here is all exclusive and they have got tons and tons of bears. This has by far been the most phenomenal week of bear hunting I've ever had the pleasure to experience. It has just been awesome. Again, I gotta say thanks to Big Bear Country Outfitters up here, Jason and Steve both. Ralph and Vicky for the opportunity, Alberta Tourism for all the help they gave us putting the trip together. And of course, the good Lord above for giving me the opportunity and bestowing another blessing of one of his tremendous creatures on me. Stealth Unbelievable, you see? Great. Using those tools that are gonna help you be more successful. You know, we can't thank the guys enough. I mean, no. Jason and Steve. Jason, Steve. Thank you guys so much. Timmy, Freddie, congratulations. Big Bear Country Outfitters up in Northern Alberta. The big boys from Illinois went up north, and you know what, I think there's they shot bigger bears than themselves. That's pretty good. That, that's, I'm not, I'm gonna be nice on that one. The lucky logo this week was Stealth Cam. If you happen to see it, click on the lucky logo. That's it. Archerschoice.com, click on the lucky logo button. Stealth the information, and someone's gonna win some crazy Some cool stuff, stuff from Stealth Cam. Yep, next week, we're gonna next week back to Illinois. Most sought after big game animal on this planet, again. White tail. White tail deers. That's right. Deers. Is that it? That's it. I think so, so we'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel, right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.